Welcome to Comparing Electronic and Hydraulic Components. In this video, you'll learn about the similarities of electronic and hydraulic components and be able to pair schematic symbols through the review of examples. The operation of an electronic circuit is similar to that of a hydraulic circuit. The components are also very similar. Take a moment to review the schematic symbols for the electronic and hydraulic components in each column. The symbols in each column represent the electronic and hydraulic components that are similar in function. Now, follow along as we review the similar functions of the electronic and hydraulic components in each column. The reservoir is a common point in the hydraulic circuit where fluid begins to flow and where it leaves a hydraulic system. The ground is a common point where current begins to flow through the electronic circuit and where it returns after going through the circuit. The pump causes fluid to flow through a hydraulic system. The power supply causes current to flow through an electronic circuit. The pressure gauge measures the pressure at a given location in a hydraulic circuit. The voltmeter measures electrical pressure at a given point in an electronic circuit. The flow meter measures how much hydraulic fluid flows through the pipe to which it is connected. The ammeter measures how much current flows through the wire to which it is connected. The pressure relief valve maintains a constant pressure at the circuit location to which it is connected. The voltage regulator maintains a constant electrical pressure, or voltage, at the circuit location to which it is connected. The directional valve opens or closes the hydraulic circuit to enable fluid to flow or to stop it. The switch opens or closes the electrical circuit to either enable current to flow or to stop it from flowing. The accumulator begins to store fluid when the pressure increases and discharges the fluid to maintain flow when the system pressure decreases. The capacitor begins to store electrons when the voltage pressure increases and discharges electrons when the voltage pressure decreases. The variable flow control valve is a restriction that can change the amount of fluid flow that occurs in the hydraulic system. The variable resistor, or rheostat, is a restrictor that can change the amount of current flow that occurs in the electronic circuit. The check valve allows fluid to flow through it in one direction and blocks the fluid flow in the opposite direction. The diode allows current to flow through it in one direction and blocks the current flow in the opposite direction. As fluid flows through the hydraulic motor, it converts hydraulic energy into mechanical energy. As current flows through the electrical motor, it converts electrical power into mechanical energy. The fluid exits the hydraulic system and re-enters through the reservoir. The current exits the circuit and re-enters through the ground. Now, try to match the electronic component at the top with the hydraulic component at the bottom that performs a similar function. If you get stuck, you can go through the video again to review the pairings.
You have completed the video comparing electronic and hydraulic components. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up.